Hello there folks and welcome on down to Broselli Gaming. Yes, you with me Zelly and we have the latest automation update to show you right here which lands Tuesday 18th. So real soon for you boys and girls out there in the Astroneer universe. So I'm here right now to go through everything that is in this latest update. Now it is going to be brief because I don't have any passion notes. So get ready as I'm about to wow you what is brand new in this update. So are you ready? Yeah, I hope you are. So let's go. Without further ado, I'm going to show you these. Yes, let's get some hype up in the chat, in the comments, or smashing that like button because we now have these awesome boards and we can now make some awesome signs using a few new items. One of those new items is the delay repeater. When activated, also activates any targeted item after a specific, uh, sorry, specified delay. Also, we have a count repeater. The same thing, but it counts. We also have a power switch, which now we can toggle on and off. But something that I've been excited for for a long time. Ah. Yes, we finally get medium gas canisters. And as you can see in the background, we've got these large active storage. But that's not it. There's been loads of cool little things that have been added into the game. And you'll see some of them around me and behind me. And one of them is the extra large sensor hoop. There is a large sensor hoop as well. And these I'm going to go through with you right now. So over here, we've got a few things, and some of them are old, just like the archway. But the archway has now got this kind of force field, which is activated. And also, we now have these. So these are the target pins that you can find on most of the button repeaters. But they're now on there. And they're triggered when you walk underneath it, just like these extra large sensor hoops. These activate the exact same way. You go through that force field and you've got the pins there and you can activate them. Awesome. There's now this cool thing. ta -da! This works in the same way. It's a medium center arch. So it activates objects when you walk through it. Each one's got three of those little archway, uh, sorry, those little pins on either side. Now I'm going to be going through everything in a bit more detail now, but I just need to get rid of a few things. Whoop. Let's get rid of those and let's show you what I've done with them. We're going to keep this because I'm going to show you how I did these signs. Now around the back here, I have wired them in using the two new items. So we've got our counter and we've got our new delay repeaters. Now I can deactivate it by just upping this up and it makes a beautiful sound. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> but these things are triggered by the main archway, which makes them flip up. So that flips them up, and then we've got the lights. So as you can see there, we can manually do it just by activating them. And it spells hype. Now I've used the delays here, so it delays each word. So this one is on a four second delay. The next one is on 8, 12, and 16. Once we activate it, which we can't at the moment because we don't have a button because I've just pulled it off. Let's just get this back. We can then activate it again. So there's three on either side. What I'm going to do is we'll take this one, pull it back. We're going to add it onto here. So that's going to be our trigger. And all of those are activated together. When we walk through it, it activates the first one. Ooh, sorry, I made a mistake. This is supposed to go in the middle and then attach to the four of them. So we're going to place that down there. Split it off into those branches. It's going to activate each one and because they've got a delay, it'll run. Now how the counter works is I've got the counter attached to two of these delays and what it does it needs two clicks for it to activate and what it'll do is it'll repeat this sequence over and over again. Now the first one is going to trigger it so they all lie down. And it triggers the lights. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't activate it to the platforms. 
which we just do with branches. Ooh, there's a handy little node that it clicks in there. Let's remove that. Pop it in there. And it'll activate the platforms. Now on the back of these platforms you'll see it's got the same little attachment and they are nice and easy to connect them to the lights. So I want to run through this again. I'll bring them down and bring them back up again. So you can get them all there. I'll put it out of sequence, but you, you, you get the idea. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it off, put them down and turn this off here. Just up the count, then drop it again. Oh, wait, I didn't wait long enough. There we go. Cool. So there's an awesome way of triggering new stuff and that can be applied to bases. Now you can also see in these loops, in the sense rings, all of those have now got barriers. Okay, so we've covered, we covered all the archways, we covered the barriers, ooh, and also the goal as well. So the canopy, that now has a barrier on it. But we knew it was activated because when it activates, we get fireworks. I think we still get fireworks. There's one way to test it. Put the, ooh. Have they took the fireworks off it? Hmm. Maybe it's just a recreational ball. Lord Leo, you stay there for now. Now, one thing I've done here is a cool little setup that you can activate the storage ring with a shuttle. Now, why have I done this? Well, it's all about power and conserving your performance. Now, as you know, when you leave base buildings on, it uses performance while you're not on the planet. Well, have no fear because that no longer applies because we can knock power off to the entire base by using the power switch and the power switch can be activated by grabbing one of these bringing it down we'll create a branch and attach that to there so when the shuttle takes off whoops <laughs> when the shuttle takes off it activates the ring which then activates the switch which turns it off shutting the power off any further from the other side of it so reading the splitter it now reads zero turn it back on it now reads 96 so that's awesome that means now we can conserve our performance especially with items that are you know are continually going and when i say continually going well that's the next thing that i'm going to talk to you about some of the new well the older modules have now got new buttons Let's have a look at this new button. So we've got seven Soil Sedge Fusions here. Now I do have canisters linked up to them and the, uh, the, 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 the larger, sorry, the medium resource canisters. And here is our new button. Ooh, so nice. And it's a recycle button, which allows you to cycle constantly whatever you're making. So we're going to set that one to compound. We'll set this one to resin. Get that one cycling. Set this one to organics. We'll set that one to clay. Next one's quartz. Then graphite. Oh, did that change? Yeah, graphite. Activate that. And quartz. Let's just, uh, sorry, ammonium. Let's just went backwards. Get too excited. But this is an absolutely awesome day, and I hope you're going to enjoy it tomorrow when it lands for you. I say tomorrow, it's Monday for me. So, now we're going to activate them. Now we can activate them in many ways and one of the favorite ways to do it is all at once. So we're going to need one of these. A button repeater. So we put one of these down. I'm going to make a couple of branches here. And we're going to attach these to the soil centrifuges. Now I am going to leave in a couple of changes that they've made. Now as I say, this is a brief one until I get all the further information such as patch notes and information off the developers because there's a few different things that have changed such as the canisters automatically filling and you'll see that in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate that and it's going to do nothing. Why are you... <laughs> Wait, wait, show me your button, repeater. Do your thing. Do I have to... Do I? Um... 
what, what, what's, go, what's going on? This is supposed to be smooth as silk. I'm showing off the new update. Boop. Do that one. Okay. Why? Why aren't you going? You've, you've got power. Oh, you haven't got soil. <laughs> that's so silly. Well, that's all my fault. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick all these. Get them to empty. I'm wondering, why aren't they going? Well, it's human error. It's Zelly error. So now they're all going. They're going to spin and they're going to constantly spin. Now, what I was saying is we, we don't get the automatic filling of the canisters, the resource canisters. And you'll see that now because the soil centrifuges will hold on to that resource. So this causes a bit of a problem. So as you can see further down there, we've done two clay, but that's fine. It holds on to all the resources until we prime the canister. So to prime the canister, we have to put that item on and then it'll start spinning them on there. So it's always important that you prime your canisters before you start. And as you see, they are going to continue to do their thing. I messed up there. I made two clay. That's fine. No quartz. So we prime these canisters. And again, these will go on the road. So if you have... Oh, it's getting noisy. If we have all of these going, and say we want to leave the planet. Yes, you can leave them all running. But if you suffer with low performance, be it on Xbox or because you're using a low spec PC, you can always turn off the power, which shuts it off. Turn back on the power, it'll continue to do its thing again. So that's why I have that set up there. So once I take off the planet, it cuts off the power to the entire base. So cool. Now you know about soil centrifuges and the automation there. Once you prime your canister, it'll fill them up. And there's no constantly pressing buttons. You don't have to put repeaters down. Now we've done that, we could just rip this out. There you go. Put it away for another day. Now our next thing, which is one of the biggest things, is this. Yes, is the medium gas canister. I'm super excited about this because this is the only thing that was kind of slowing down our automation process. And we had to use the medium medium uh, storage silos and, and the likes of so now we can just turn our atmospheric condenser on we're gonna turn it to hydrogen because we're gonna automate some lovely lovely rubber no not at all hydrogen so it needs two ammonium and hydrogen and again we got this lovely button so we're gonna select that turn that on and now it's active we can empty this so then that'll ping straight to the chemistry lab and we'll wait for the gas. Now these gas canisters hold an amazing 160 and it's gonna take a long time to fill that up. So what we're gonna do is get rid of that and go to the one I prepared earlier, which has 155 in it. So it just needs one more of these. Once that's done, we can then activate it to empty because at the moment it's filling the canister. We got two more shots and then it'll automatically make our hydrogen. Oh yeah. Now on here, it does have a cycle button, so it keeps going. So you can select that and it will constantly make hydrogen. Here's our last one. And there you go, it went, it went straight onto the garage lab, but it should fill our medium gas canister. Once that's done that, it'll keep spitting out our ammonium. Now notice that the ammonium isn't spitting out onto the platform. So it's not occupying loads of spaces. Simply select that, it'll start spitting out our gas. Cool beans! Making hydrogen nice and easy. So automation is changing. Now another thing that changes is not the, uh, not the smelting furnaces, but this comes back to taking power off your base and improve performance. Now with smelters they constantly ping information so they want resources so they're constantly asking for it which can lower performance. Again shutting down your power to your base will stop it doing that. Now the other thing that you can now cycle which I'm excited about is the printers. So if it has that resource it will constantly print it. It's no longer needing bing, no longer needing to have repeaters put on it so it 
it makes it. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Because, hey, this is a BCG factory. And I'm sure you're wondering what's inside here. Well, come for a little tour with me. And I'm going to show you. Pipe! <laughs> oh, gosh, I love all this stuff. So as we've gone through all the new stuff, there's going to be many more things coming in. Such as a broken piece of quartz. Uh, we didn't see that. Such as new stuff to the store. Now I don't know exactly what's coming to the store. Apparently cowboy hats. Which is going to be awesome, right? So I'm going to have to wait for that tomorrow, just like everyone else. Now this is my setup that I had for the Soil Sets of you just before. Now I can increase it by activating it. So I had to rely on a different setup with it having to constantly fill up the uh, medium storage silo, then filling up the large canisters. I also had this cool setup, which I'm gonna show you how it works using the automation arms. And it's basically an on off setup for the canisters. So you flick that, it takes all the canisters and it places them on here. Well, it's supposed to, but it doesn't look like it wants to. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that. I don't know why that's being silly. But the main thing that now changes is this side. This is the main hub of my factory. Skrrr, down over the bridge. Now, as you can see, I have gas canisters on the, steel, uh, the, the medium storage silo. I can't spit words out, I'm too excited. <laughs> now I can get rid of that and just put the gas canisters straight on there. If I want to top them up, then it's fine. But then I have to add storage uh, switches, which, you know, when it's empty, it'll, it'll switch it and activate it to fill it up. So this is the Mayberry factory. I'm going to turn it on. Whoa. It seems the update has done something to my factory. But it's fine. We'll come back to it. <laughs> Things aren't going swimming. So, up here is about the printers. This one, I can tell you, is going to change big time. Because here I have a massive section which is triggered by these repeaters. So I've got a button repeater which activates all of these small printers printing everything out at once so hopefully this this will do it and not not be broke Ooh, i don't know see i don't know if the update has just broken the connectors we'll find out no there it goes oh that's so noisy but oh so beautiful but there you go it's printing all my lovely stuff but now i don't need this massive button repeater because i can <laughs> I can activate this and basically do that. Do that to every one. And what it'll do, as we'll see here with the, the media printer, it'll constantly print it over and over and over and over again. Oh, that is so satisfactory. No, it's not. It's Astronia. <laughs> oh, I love it. So that should go again, but uh, it didn't fill up with... You let me down here. Come on, come on. We, we got, we got. There you go. Anyway, once it's got its resources, I've got a few things to fix in uh, in my factory. In fact, I'm probably going to rip it out and start again. Hmm. But over here, I've got my medium printers, and this is the bit you might see from the gift as you run through here. Oh, ho, 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 boy! It starts to print off all the mediums. So again, you can select these to keep repeating and it'll do it. And I've got the same here for the storage ring. As you go through, it's supposed to activate everything. Ooh, it's not activating it. Maybe why is, oh, I know. I've got a funny feel. I think I've just broke one side, but hold on. Because these now are integrated into the storage rings. If I put that on there, there we go so because i've got an existing setup there's a couple of tweaks to do so oh that cancelled it nice okay which kind of makes sense so because these have got these uh, target pins already on them i had to take that off and put it on there because originally it just had 
a tier one slot, which you can put that on and then run it. Fantastic! Oh wait, look at all these boxes. Oh, nice and neat and mm, so swanky. So let's head ourselves outside. It won't print again because it didn't fill up. But I'll get this fixed. I'll get it sorted. In fact, why not catch me over on YouTube on our new series as we build a brand new factory? Because I think that's going to be absolutely wicked with these new items. And uh, yeah. So, so far we've covered more or less everything in the latest update that I have available at my fingertips. As I say, I will be back tomorrow with a full breakdown, giving you more detail and showing you more that, uh, more things you can do with the delayed repeaters and the counters and making these wonderful signs. So, that's it in a nutshell, so far. Ashmere wow. Automation 2.0 is here. You'll get it tomorrow, as I say, it's Monday for me right now. You'll begin a Tuesday, so I hope you enjoy it. For those who feel that it's unfair, I am a content creator under Astroneer's wing. I love Astroneer. I've got 5,000 hours in the game, so please don't have any hate. Just have some love. This is just to give you a brief overhaul of what you can do in the game and what is new in the latest update. But again, this is not everything. And once I've got those patch notes, I'll be coming through with my full breakdown so i hope you're ready for that but thank you very much for joining me i've been zelly this has been astronia you've been amazing we've been bro zelly gaming please show the love smash the like button leave a comment below of what you think you're gonna do or anything i think you think i've missed out and uh, yeah i will catch you next time but look after yourselves take care stay safe in the world and uh bye everyone see ya oh man i can't wait to play <laughs> so much hype! Woo! BCG Factory 2.0 coming soon.